In this video, I will show you step by step how to connect your hosting or domain to your Namecheap hosting. So first I'll show you how to do it if you haven't yet bought your Namecheap hosting and then I'll show you how to do it if you have already bought hosting on Namecheap. But in both scenarios you will have already bought a domain on Hostinger, which as you can see I have this one right here. And what you want to go and do first is just go to Namecheap and if you don't have one yet, just gonna create an account and go to your dashboard. Now here go to your hosting list and here you will find all of your hosting that you currently have. Now if you haven't bought hosting yet you will see this so you don't have any hosting service yet. If that's the case click on get started and this makes it extra simple. From here you can just click find your plan or if you already kind of know what you want to do you can just click view plans and get the plan you want. I'll use the stellar one for this example and where it says connect to I'm gonna select an existing domain name and select a third party domain name. Now here I'm gonna type in the domain that you bought on Hostinger which for me is this one right here and then wait for it to find it and then click on connect to hosting. Now it is connected as you can see, so you can see that you're now buying this hosting and this domain right here is connected. Now just click on add to cart and from there you can then go and make the payment and then you will have already connected your domain to the hosting. Now if you have already bought the hosting, then what will happen is if you go to your hosting list, it will show up right here similar to how the domain shows up for me. And what you want to do is on your hosting plan, go and click on manage. And then you need to look for your name servers. So usually you can kind of find that in the DNS section, although this is for domains, but for hosting, just look for your name servers. And then typically you will get something that looks like this, so dns1.namecheaphosting.com and dns2.namecheaphosting.com, something like that. And then what you want to do is just remember that. And then you want to go to Hostinger and on Hostinger, go to your domains and then click on the manage button on the domain you want to connect to your Namecheap hosting and then go to DNS and name servers and what you need to change is the name servers so not any DNS records but the name servers so click change name servers now I'll just verify my email real quick since you need to do that first so I've now verified my email address so now when you go here and refresh you can now click change name servers and then click change name servers and now here you need to add the name servers that you got from your Namecheap hosting. So again, usually it will look something like this, but you need to check for you specifically. But what you want to then go and do is copy the first one and then go to Hostinger and just paste that in, in the first section. Then take the second one and obviously go and paste that in the second one. Now if there's three, then you want to add three. If there's four, you want to add four, but then just go and click save. And click I understand that proceeding with these name servers could stop my domain from working. So from there go and click change and now your name servers have been changed and if I now had Namecheap hosting it would now be pointing towards Namecheap and now there are only a few more steps. So first you must wait for the DNS records to propagate. So for the name servers to basically propagate and this can even take up to 48 hours but usually it's a lot faster. Then step 4 is to upload your website to Namecheap hosting which you can do by logging into your Namecheap cPanel and then use the file manager or FTP such as FileZilla to upload your website files or install WordPress or other CMS if needed via Namecheap's Softaculous app installer. Then step five is to verify and test. So after propagation, visit your domain and check if it is loading from your Namecheap hosting. And you can troubleshoot any issues from the cPanel or Namecheap support if necessary. So now you know how to connect your hosting or domain to Namecheap hosting. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.